Hi everybody, I'm Bryce and this is Lewis. We're here from Gazelle Sports and with the Gazelle Elite Racing Team. Uh, today we're going to be talking track spikes, what we've got coming up from this year's line, uh, who those spikes are meant for as far as distance or experience level, and all sorts of other fun stuff. So stay tuned, we'll dive into it. So we're going to start with New Balance today. New Balance continues with their line of, they pretty much get a spike in every distance group. They continue with their Silent Hunter theme, which is kind of the quieter you are, the faster you're going to be. So they shoot for that, and you can see that kind of written all through the spikes, kind of cool. So we'll start with the MD500. So we have this in men and women's. And pretty much the key here is if you've had any experience in these before, this is their kind of entry level do all spike. So great for a, a first time middle distance runner or like even a hurdler. Would you say the same thing with that a little extra bit of foam through the back as well? Yeah, definitely. Um, what makes New Balance really easy for us is that a lot of times in their names, they point out who or what event this could kind of be geared towards. So although this is a multi-use spike, it says MD500 on it, meaning it could be kind of for that 500 meter group, which is not necessarily a real event, but it can range from maybe the 800 down to the 400, 200, and all that in between stuff around the number 500. And we'll get into some of our more field specific spikes coming up, but this could even be a great entry level field spike, like yeah. a long jump spike or something like that, just because it's aggressive enough to get you going, but mm -hmm. it does have a bit of extra cushion in it too. Yeah, great one for pole vault. Yeah, that's true. You wanna move on? Yeah, definitely. All right, let's crank it up. All right, so next up we got the uh, MD800. So having tried this on here in the store, I'm a big fan of the upper on this guy. Uh, the sock-like upper that they've added into this mid-distance spike has been great. Um, this would be geared towards more of that 800 meter specific runner, but you could certainly run a 400 or even maybe the occasional mile. I wouldn't run a mile regularly in this spike just because it is so aggressive. you got a full-length spike plate on the bottom, but um, definitely for the more experienced mid-distance runners. Yeah, what I definitely agree. I'd, I'd say it's definitely a higher end middle distance spike. I love the booty uh, construction that they've put in the in the MD800 this year. I think it looks awesome and you can see the little silent hunter symbol on the side as well. It's like a little hawk or something. Um, but I also love the spike plate on it. I think that it's like a, it's a little more subtle so it's not just like this plastic plate that they've plopped on the bottom. It's a little, it's almost like softer. I'd get your hands on it and have a feel yourself. It's it's pretty cool, for sure. Sprint spikes? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's get real here. So we start with the, they have a unisex spike. Um, so this is the SD100, sprint distance 100. Uh, not super aggressive, it's more like your entry level spike, but if you like that little extra booty on the top, cool little, cool little additive that they've thrown in there. And has a great fit. It's tight enough to where it feels like a, a spike for the, um, still for the women as well. Like it's got a pretty universal fit, which is cool. Yeah, definitely. I've had some good luck with men and women in that spike. Sure. But the one that we did not bring in in men currently, or don't have yet, is the Vazi Verge, I believe it is. It's a new one, actually, I think, from New Balance. I haven't seen this one before, but I believe it's taking the place of the Sigma. Don't know that for sure. I know the Sigma used to have the boa lacing on it, which was pretty cool, but... Mm -hmm. This one is still very, very aggressive, but it's back to the, the laces. Um, so, what do you think about that guy? I mean, I think it's, this is, again, we were kind of breaking it down into kind of entry level and then more advanced within each distance group, and this is definitely their higher end sprint spike. You'll see a lot of elite New Balance sprinters wearing this this year, I'm confident. Yeah. Really, really aggressive spike players just fly you off the blocks. Um, and then the upper isn't quite as loosey-goosey as the middle distance one as well. It's not like ventilated or meshed. It kind of locks your foot in. This has a really, really nice fit on it too. So from what I've been told, obviously we don't carry it in men. But yeah, really, really light spike and it's, it's super aggressive. We're pretty excited about this one. Mm -hmm. All right, so for Saucony here, we brought in three main categories. We brought in a um, universal sprint spike, an entry level distance spike and then a higher end distance spike. So to kick us off here, we're going to get started with the entry level distance spike, the Saucony Vendetta. So the Vendetta, although it's technically classified as a distance spike, I think could be used for quite a few different things. What do you think? 
Yeah, I would agree. It's it's. I think it's designed to be a kind of multi-use, but mm-hmm. specifically distance. It's on the heavier side compared to a lot of other distance bikes, which is probably why it's priced at sixty-five dollars. Um, but it does have a just a really kind of laid-back fit. It's not super aggressive at all. Um, this is just like a. This is your first time throwing on, or second time throwing on, like a mile, two mile spike. I think it'd be great. But Bryce is right. If you wanted to even get some long hurdles in it, that'd be totally fine as well. Yeah. This would be something I would grab for somebody who um, maybe has never had spikes before as a freshman or even maybe a middle eighth eighth grader, middle schooler that's trying to find where they fit into the sport of track and field and what event they want to do. This would be a great spike for that. Yeah, for sure. Let's switch it up. Go to, go to sprint here. So the Spitfire from Saucony is a $65 spike as well. Um, although it's technically classified as more of like an entry-level sprint spike would you say yeah it's I don't know I think it can stack up pretty well against some of the some of the big boys like the uh, uh, Nike 400 or anything like that it's still very aggressive not a full-length spike plate uh, which means it's going to be a little more versatile you could use it for maybe a field event or two Um, but yeah it's going to work great for the 100 200 even up to the 400 for sure I think that um or even for some of the shorter hurdles, I think would be yeah. great. But um, I think it looks great, which is a big thing that Saucony has going for them. I think that, especially the women's spike, I think it just looks really nice and it's kind of textured as well, which is new for them. Um, yeah, kind of just a go-to sprint spike. I've had a lot of success putting this on pretty much any age group. Um, it has a really, really nice fit to it. It feels like it locks, like locks onto your foot and it makes you want to get up on your toes, which is a cool feeling of what you want out of a sprint spike. Um, yeah, I think this is a great update for them. Yeah. All right, last one we got here is the Saucony Ballista. Ballista? 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 I don't know what it is. But this is one of the lightest spikes on the market, if I'm not mistaken, last time I checked. Um, it's a higher-end distance spike. It's going to play big in the world of track and field. Um, you'll see a lot of people wearing this at the high, highest levels. Um, solely because of the weight. I mean, when you get rid of that weight, it's it's going to make you feel faster. They did lengthen out the spike plate a little bit more, which is which is going to make it a little more aggressive, but I, I wouldn't hesitate to wear it for even a two-mile, possibly, yeah? Yeah, I would say it's definitely, it's probably the most versatile high-end spike that we have. Like, you could go down to a mm-hmm. 400 in this, and it would... It would do the job just fine. Yeah. But I think I agree with Bryce. You could go up to two miles. So if you're kind of like an all-arounder, can do anything, strap this guy on. You'll love it. Yeah. Next up, we have Adidas. If you're a lover of more vintage-looking spikes, just that classic, sleek, kind of straight black, straight white look, you're going to love these spikes. Um, they, they're they a go-to. And especially if you have crazy uniform colors, you know they at least match. So... We carry two spikes by Adidas. We have the Sprint Star and we have the Distance Star. Both of them are pretty entry level. Um, if, if you're looking to perform better than you ever have before and you've worn spikes for a few years, maybe not the best spikes for you, if we're being honest. Sprint Star is, is just the, your classic sprint spike, so nothing on the heel. Pretty aggressive spike, the spike plate, but nothing to really write home about. It just looks and feels really, really snug and, and sleek. So if you like that kind of feel... What do you think? In the Sprint Star? Yeah, yeah definitely. It's, uh, it's, a little, it's a little deceiving looking at the bottom because it shows a spike plate just right here, but it, it really does extend if you look closely there, and you probably can't see it looking at the video, but uh, it extends back almost all the way to here. So this would be a good one for 100, 200, 400, all sorts of Sprint stuff. Very aggressive. Definitely some of the shorter hurdles, too. You yeah. could pull this off. Yeah. Although it's technically classified as an entry level, it's I've been impressed with the Sprint Star for sure. Yeah, pretty versatile. Distance Star? Yeah, Distance Star. So the Distance Star here. Um, a little bit of a, a heavier spike, but all, overall not, not terrible, actually. We've seen some entry level uh, distance spikes just kind of be very... Blech. Mediocre. Yeah, extremely mediocre, but... This one is, for for how it looks and how it feels on your foot, it's surprisingly poppy, I guess you could say. Um, a lot of distance spikes are going to this kind of 
almost half length spike plate, which gives you a little more spring, I guess you could say. Yeah, I, I, I found that this spike is great for people who like a little more cushion underneath their feet as well for those distance events. Some people like a, just a really firm, responsive spike that's just as aggressive as possible no matter what the event. But this one is, it's super tame. You can see how flat it is, and it's got a decent chunk of foam on the bottom. It's not boost foam, so if you're familiar with some of their boosted spikes, you're not getting that here, mm -hmm. um, which explains it, it's not quite as bouncy in that sense. But... Um, yeah, nice protective distance spike for those entry level that are even as low as like 800 up to two mile. Yeah. Another thing I'll say about the, uh, the distance star here is actually I'm a big fan of the colors just between the two, the black and the white. Um, the widths are pretty comparable. So if you're looking, if you're a male that's looking for more of a white spike or a female looking for a black spike, you could certainly go either way with them. Definitely. Yeah, that's a good point. You could switch it up for sure. All right, next up on the docket, we have Nike. So as you can uh, and a lot of them. see here, we've got quite the collection of Nike spikes here, um, which isn't surprising. Nike is kind of, uh, that's how they got their start, is kind of in the track spike world. So they've always stayed committed to that, and I think that's why people like them and people keep coming back to Nike. So where do we want to start out here? Um, let's start with lower or entry-level sprint spikes here. So... Here, right there. There you go. Boom. So we got a couple different colors in the Rival S. Uh, again, this is your more entry-level sprint spike, similar to a couple others that we've talked about um, previously. You could use this for 100, 200 hurdles, up to a 400, um, maybe even maybe even an 800. But for the most part, this is going to be your uh, freshman, sophomore sprint spike. Looks a lot like New Balance's SD100. Yeah. But without that little extra booty thing. So. Yeah. All right. Let's jump up to maybe some more high-end sprint spikes by Nike. So we have the Jawfly by Nike. That is their, that's their big dog in the sprint world. You're going to see a lot of elites wearing that, um, in, especially in the next year or two leading up to even the Olympics. So... Mm -hmm. Um, they go in for that really classic kind of white and black look. I love it. They have that full length just waffle spike plate that looks awesome and feels great. Um, that's, that's definitely a big dog to watch out for. Yeah. Another big one is uh, these Nike Zoom 400. So for a long time, people have always kind of wondered, what do I wear for the 400 meter dash? Well, Nike heard you, came out with this guy. And it has been doing very, very well, um, mostly because a lot of the times, like in the jaw fly, the, the 400 is going to be a little long for that spike. It's going to definitely, you're definitely going to feel it by the end of the race. But with this guy, it's a little less rigid. Um, you got a little more foam on the side here, and it bends just a little bit more. So I actually think, and my prediction is, you're hearing it here first, is that uh, a lot of elite, very high-end 800-meter runners are going to start wearing this just because of how aggressive it is and how strong they are. So you heard it here first. Yeah, 100% agree. That being said, you could also go down to probably like 200 with that. Not a yeah. problem. Yeah. Great spike. 100. Looks awesome. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll bump up over let's go to... field event. Yeah, let's switch over to field events. So this is new for us this year. We haven't carried field-specific events in a while. Um, oh, field specific spikes I should say but we do carry high jump and long jump spikes there's your long jump so high jump pretty much the biggest difference is you get a, a ton more stability overall so it's not quite as narrow of a spike and it's there's spikes in the heel as well so high jump specific it's got a nice little trendy velcro strap over the top classic look I think this is gonna do really well for us so far we've we're running low on these already so if you need a high jump spike you better get in here yeah a little bit heavier too, which I'm told was so that you can actually kind of get that kick under and then flip your feet over. So braid out of a high jump spike for, for sure. sure. For sure. Yeah. So long jump, um, a little more aggressive as you can see there. It almost forces you up on that spike plate, similar to a sprint spike. Um, you're going to get quite a few pins on the bottom there. And then it's also got the zipper and the booty construction there to keep the sand out as much as you can. Not sure that's entirely possible, but that's the it biggest. Does, it does the sure. best. Yeah, that's what makes a long jump spike a long jump spike Definitely. for sure. Yeah, better than wearing like a middle 
kind of middle of the road distance bike that's just highly ventilated mm -hmm. to let all that sand in. So let's do uh, let's do entry distance. Entry distance. So we got a couple different options from Nike for entry level distance. Uh, we got the uh, Rival D, and then we have the Zoom D. So the Rival D is going to be your main entry level spike, or I wouldn't even hesitate to pull this for an elite runner who wants to throw on something with a little more cushioning for the two mile, or even maybe if a little bit longer if they find themselves in a longer event. Um, just going to protect your protect your legs a little bit more, but the Rival or the Zoom D, sorry is a little more aggressive, a little bit of a higher price point. To me, honestly, that, that competes really well with a lot of the big distance spikes, just with how aggressive it is, how light it is. For sure. For sure how light it is. One of the big things I like about this bike too is like the overlays that they put on this bike, so it's, it's not quite as loosey-goosey. It really locks over your foot. But that, that rival D is, I mean, this is basically a flat with spikes on the bottom. So... It's, it's about as great. It looks like a flat straight up, but it feels like a flat underfoot. So if you want, like Bryce said, just a little more cushion to it, um, but some extra traction, great spike. All right, let's go multi-use or mid-distance here. So one thing we've got out of the uh, Rival M this year is a knit upper, or more of like a woven upper. It's just different. Something we've never seen from Nike before, but this is the Rival M, great for many different events. Um, all Maybe the that's way what the M stands for. Many different events, many. I would imagine, yeah. Mm. That's got to be it. But the, uh, the spike plate is only a three-quarter length spike plate, so it can be used for those sprint events or even up to possibly a mile if you had to run it in it. It's not going to be ideal for that, but you could do it. Um, you could also, it has a little bit of a cushion to the heel, so it's going to be good for that first-time hurdler, um, maybe even a pole vault. For sure, but yeah, if you're the athlete that your coach is like, hey, today you're doing the four by four and the 800, mm -hmm. and then later on you're gonna do you're gonna do the two mile as well. I mean, this is this is a good spike. Even yeah. if you're gonna throw in some hurdles in there, or even field events, this is your all around universal spike with a really really reasonable price point from Nike too, 65 bucks. So yeah. I think it looks sweet too. The update on the on the lateral side here with these little lines and everything, I think yeah. it looks cool. 65, 70, 65. yeah, something like that. Something like that. So here is uh, our go-to distance bike. This is what um, a lot of the Gazelle Elite guys used to use and the girls as well. So this is the Victory 3. This is their Elite distance bike. Uh, we know we do not carry the Victory Elite anymore, which they use like a different kind of spike plate. We just carry the Victory. Um, but this is by far the more kind of versatile, especially for you guys who are um, who have only been running for maybe a year or two and need to get in there and try and run faster than you ever have before. Super, yeah. super light, and it's great for, if you ever, if, if any of you ever try a steeple, this is an awesome spike for it. Yeah, the they will drain right out. They really just, they keep improving this guy. Um, <clears throat> like, it, like Lewis was saying, they, it does have a uh, counterpart, the Victory Elite. Biggest difference there is just the Victory Elite has a carbon fiber spike plate on it, makes it a little bit snappier. Um, for the general population, if you're trying to decide between the, between the two, because I believe we have that on our website, um, they're not a whole lot different. You're not no. going to be able to feel that snappiness or anything like that. But, yeah, they pull out all the stops on this to guy to reduce weight. That is for sure. Yeah. Super aggressive spike and really versatile as well. You could go, yeah. again, like 800 all the way up to 5K. Yeah, I've even seen quite a few sprinters wear this spike with no problems at all, just because of how light it is, or just because of how it's still very aggressive as well. Killer. All right, guys, thanks for watching our spike video. Now you have all the updates on, on all our current spike collection. Just so you know, we're hoping to get a few more models in, particularly from New Balance and Adidas, and we're hopefully also bringing in Hoka as a brand yeah. here in the next couple months as well. So as a reminder, we do have the largest spike selection in West Michigan. We're your go-to source, but they also go out very, very quickly. So if you think you're getting a leg up on outdoor season by coming in here in like a month, half of these are gonna be gone by then. So make sure you get in here, figure out which spike is gonna be the best for you, and you can walk out with one safely in your hands and on your feet. Good luck with the rest of your season, guys. Um, make sure to follow us at Gazelle Elite and at Gazelle Sports on Instagram. 
and we will uh, see you on the track. See you then. Stay fast.